everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Aryan Beauty chapter two, and this is gonna be the part two. So if you guys haven't watched part one, run it back. Today we're gonna be doing the cheek and lip stains or cheek and lip balm. What is it called? <laughs> I forget. I have every shade right here and I noticed that they were sold out already. Make sure you subscribe before you get into the video, but without further ado, let's get into it. I don't know if you guys remember from part one, but I am wearing the second style of lashes. This is in Provocateur. I can't help but say it in that accent. I don't know why. So we have 10 different shades going on here. The first one I'm going to try out of the little squad here is the shade Chorus Girl. This one seems like it's the lightest out of all of them. It seems like a super light pinky color. So I literally have no idea how this is going to show up on my skin, but let's just see about that. This packaging is so freaking cute. It's like a little spaceship man, like with a helmet. <laughs> like I absolutely adore this. And is this like She's a little smushed on the sides, but nothing crazy. So here is... Girl, where is the color? <laughs> oh, okay, it's buildable, it's buildable. Okay, so this is what Chorus Girl looks like. This is what the color looks like on my lips. I don't know about you guys, but I get weird whenever I wear like light pink colors because it feels like my face just looks like, I don't know, it just looks off to me. I think the first thing about this that I notice is the texture feels really weird on your lips. It feels like a cream lipstick, but not like how a liquid lipstick would be like. I mean, it feels like I'm putting liquid blush on my lips, basically. It's, it's a strange sensation. It's something I need to get used to. I do want to see if I just do this it's definitely moving that's for sure i mean the lipstick also did the same like i feel like it's just because she does a lot more like creamy products i think i'm gonna use my finger because i'm gonna be trying on so many oh this is really pretty as a blush oh my gosh i love this color as a blush that is so freaking pretty i love this as a blush I'm not crazy about it as a lipstick, I'm not gonna lie, but you know what? You could have a lipstick and a blush on the go, and I feel like blushes are the things that fade the most. It's just you have to get used to that sensation on your lips, I feel like. I feel like a blushing bride. <laughs> like, yes. Let's go ahead and try Stage Mom, which kind of seems like the second most light color, I guess. And this one's more of like a peachy tone. This is what that shade looks like. <laughs> Why do I feel like, <laughs> I feel like a hot Cheeto girl. I don't think this suits my skin tone, which I'm really sad about. This one seems more pigmented than the other one was. I will say my bias is definitely more towards pinky colors. So that's why like every time I put a peach on, I'm like, and I mean, this is cute as a blush. I think this is definitely more like a summer vibe for me because it feels like it's really warming up my face. Is it my favorite? Not really. I'm not gonna lie, it's not my favorite. Look at how much more pigmented this color is for some reason. I don't know why, but apparently that's a thing. This is Opening Night, which is sort of like a darker rosy pink color. This is what that shade looks like. Swatch it. I don't know what is happening, but I swear the pigment is getting like progressively darker. I mean, I guess the shades are getting darker, so that makes sense, but I don't know. I think I'm just so surprised because the first one didn't really show up as much. Yeah, see, like this is the shade that I wear on my videos like all the freaking time. Oh my gosh, this is giving such cuteness. Why is it that I like pink shades, you guys? Can somebody help me? This is so cute. Oh my gosh. See, I don't really have a blush that's this intense. The one thing I also wanted to say is I think this can be used like on dry skin if you just like make sure you tap it in lightly because I'm seeing that it's not moving my, my powder foundation at all. Everything seems to be going super well and I'm really impressed with that because that means I can use it as a base. I can use it on no makeup makeup days and I can use it like over the top of what I'm wearing, which is exactly what the product is for. Here's the next shade. This is called Front Row Center. So this one better, you know, call out for some attention. You know what I mean? This one definitely seems like the orangey peachy equivalent. I think that's just gonna be the same with all of the shades, to be honest. This is what that shade looks like. And let's do the swatch. Ooh, okay, so this is what's so interesting to me is now this one seems less pigmented than the ones before it. So I'm just like, what the hell? Like, why? Maybe it's just because of the pigment that's in it. Like, maybe it's the color. I really don't know. I definitely feel like this is more flattering on my lips 
than the light peachy one. And I also prefer it on my cheeks as well. Here's the next shade. This is Callback and it looks like it's gonna be like a hot pink sort of color. So yeah, this is very much like a hot pink with a slight berry tone to it color. It's giving very Barbie-esque. Oh my goodness. This is super pretty. This is literally the definition of Barbie, I swear. It's actually really cute though. It's not a color I typically wear, but honestly, in the summertime with a nice dress. So yeah, the blush is a lot. I don't think it suits me. It looks like I got a hot pink sunburn. I feel like my skin is starting to get red by itself because I keep trying on and taking off so many of these. This is the next shade right here. We have Audition. It's starting to get more, you know, like red vibes up in here. So this one's giving like an orangey red lip sort of color. This is what the shade looks like. And then swatched. I definitely feel like the orangey colors aren't showing up as much now that I look at my arm. Yeah, so not my fave. <laughs> if I thought the first one was Hot Cheeto, girl, this is really Hot Cheeto now. Oh my gosh, I put so much. But you know what? It's not that bad. Like if this was the only blush I had to use in the world, I would be fine with it. It's just a lot for what I'm used to and that's fine, you know? Here is the shade Curtain Call and this is very much like a fiery hot red. This is what the shade looks like and then here is, oh, is there a reason why this isn't showing up? Look at this color! And this one reminds me of like the first one where it's just like a little bit like blurry vibes. So I guess... I don't really get why they didn't do this one as pigmented, but let's try it. I feel like this is a really wearable red. It's more just like a glow from within reddish color. And I'm not gonna lie, for me personally, I like it a lot better. I think it's like a lot easier to wear because I thought this was gonna be like crazy town, like clown vibes, but it's not. The next color is Leading Lady. And this one, based on what we've seen, should be more of like the orangey version of the last color. So I'm curious to see how pigmented this one will be. Here is what that shade looks like. Ooh, girl! <laughs> That's what I thought the pink one was gonna be like. I'm so confused with like the consistency of these. It makes me wonder like, did she try these on and she was like, oh, this one needs to be toned down on my skin. Oh, this one needs to be amped up. Like, I don't know. Oh my gosh, this one's so intense. Oh no! This is Hot Cheeto 3.0, not again. <laughs> But you know what's nice about these being buildable that I just realized is like I'm able to apply these like more intense shades without looking crazy because I don't have to apply as much since my skin tone is a lot lighter. That's kind of a bummer because I don't know how I'm going to use this. I feel like I'll just lightly tap it on. But like for this video, obviously I'm like full intensity of color so you guys can see what it looks like. Whew. Okay, this is the second to last shade. This is Broadway, baby. Here's what the shade looks like. It's a deep berry color. I already know I'm going to love this one, but let's see what the pigment is like. Ooh, okay, this one's doing a little bit better than this the red one above. I mean, this is just stunning on the lips. Like, I'm absolutely obsessed with this color. I think it's also going to be perfect on the cheek. I feel like this is the type of shade I would, like, put across my nose to look like cute vibes, you know what I mean? All right, so here is the final shade, Standing O, which when I saw this, I feel like some of you know what I thought. <laughs> For the name but anyways very cute very musical broadway-esque um and here is what the shade looks like this is the deepest shade that comes in the set and it's like this really deep like plum color so uh, there we go again you guys like i don't understand why the pink ones are not as pigmented this is what it looks like after a few swatches so just keep that in mind when you get these products this one just feels very like blush on the lips like the most like it just feels like very like washed out sort of like blurry edges kind of thing and i do like that it's buildable so honestly i'm not mad at this color i was scared because i didn't know how pigmented all of these were gonna be but now that i put everything on i'm just like i mean some of them just aren't as pigmented which i don't know i don't know how to feel about it because i don't know how it would work on darker skin tones 
Like, will it show up? I think some of these, all of these are definitely buildable. So I think they do have potential for like every skin tone. Okay, so this is what that final lip looks like. And I did put it on both sides. Just for a recap, these are what the shades look like. As you can tell, I mean, I really enjoyed these products. I really like them. I think like it's honestly going to be my go-to blush now, especially because you can also take like a little stippling brush like this, dip it in. I just didn't want to have to do that because I'm trying so many shades. It doesn't feel like the product is moving at all when I put it on my face, but like it's still creamy enough where it can melt into your skin and it doesn't just get stuck in one place. You know what I mean? Like you can still blend it out. So I'm like very impressed with this product. I really like it. Again, just be aware of the different like opacities that it has because some of them are gonna be more buildable. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a cute ass day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.